from Buckeye Girls Reason Things. This is a super fun video where I will be creating three of my favorite freezer meals that are Mexican. This is a collaboration with Small Town Six. And please check out the playlist for more delicious recipes. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe so you can find more great recipes like these. Okay, we're gonna start out with a wrap and I'm gonna make add some pre-made hash browns. Then you can add the meat of your choice. You could add ham, you could add bacon, you can add sausage, whatever you choose. Then some scrambled eggs. You can also add some cheese if you like, but I'm not a big fan of cheese, so this these aren't gonna have cheese. These are gonna be cheeses. Then we wrap these up and we put them in the freezer. You can also add onions, and then when we get them out, we put salsa and uh, and sour cream. Fun, easy freezer breakfast. Okay, this is a half pound of pinto and black beans. You can do just pinto, you can do just black beans. That's all up to you. I pre-soaked these last night, but you don't have to. If you don't wanna pre-soak, you just use hot water instead of cold. And we're gonna start off with six cups of water. Okay, next, one half onion, and these onions was the smallest ever. I could probably use two. And it says two cloves of garlic. Well, I don't buy my garlic that way. I buy my garlic in these containers. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of garlic. This is a fourth of a teaspoon of oregano. And then I'm going to do just enough salt to taste. I'm going to let the simmer on low, about three on your gas stove. Just let it simmer. I'm going to put a lid on this and this will cook for an hour and a half or until these get tender. I am gonna do a little toss to get our spices in there. We, will, I'll put a lid on it and let it go for an hour and a half. Here is our beans and all the liquid actually uh, cooked out. So I'm gonna have to add some more liquid. But the recipe says add lard and cook and fry your beans in lard. Well, I'm not, I haven't used lard in years and I'm not planning to now. So I just added a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to fry these. And 
And as you can see, they're not smooth. I'm gonna fry these. Okay. okay. We're gonna cook these for two to three minutes. And then it says add three fourths cup of bean juice, which all my juice cooked out of these. So I may add either a little chicken broth or a little water. And then I'm going to put these through the blender and make sure they're warm and top them with cheese and these will be done. Okay, it's been three minutes, so I all I'm doing is kind of pushing these to smooth these out a little bit. Even though I normally throw these in the blender and get them blended really good, I think it just helps it to take your spoon and just smash them. After we blend these, we'll just add our Mexican cheese. Okay, I just used a little bit of olive oil and sprayed my pan and I'm frying my tortillas until they get golden brown. And then I will put on top refried beans, hamburger that I put, I, I, made, I made taco meat which is, is one pack of taco seasoning and a half a cup of salsa in the, taco, in the fried hamburger. I'll put that on top and some Mexican cheese and some olives and put that in the oven. And then when I get it out, we'll put tomatoes and lettuce and sour cream on. And, but I'll show you. Here's our baking pan and we're going to spray that with a little bit more of our olive oil and we're going to put two of our fried tortillas in it that one got a little bit of brown a little dark so that one may end up being my husband Okay, these are refried beans that we made in the previous video. And the good thing is, is they freeze well. Actually, I got some out of the freezer to make this. Just gonna spread that on. You can put as much or as little on as you like. I have 12 tortillas that I'm doing. Because these freeze really well, I freeze it with it before I put the lettuce and the tomatoes on. And then when we get it out, we can just put the lettuce and tomatoes and sour cream on. This is our taco meat that has one cup of, a half a cup of salsa and, um, and uh, just a package of taco seasoning.
Okay, now we're going to top with some Mexican cheese. And our oven's already preheated, preheating at 375. Or you can put your favorite uh, me che Mexican cheese you like on here. If you have another brand or another kind you like better, go for it. If you like jalapenos, you can put a few jalapenos on there. I'm going to add a few black olives to gross my husband out. Just because. And then we bake this for five minutes or until the cheese is really nice and bubbly. Okay, here's the pizza already done. Now let's top it with our shredded lettuce. Okay, let's top our pizza with shredded lettuce. And tomatoes. And some sour cream. There, it's all done.